Hello everybody, hope you are doing well. Well, today we will be building the header view. So we will be implementing this one and this one. So let's start coding. Uh, this is where we left in the last video. So let's go to our feed group and create a new file. A Swift UI view, let's call it feed view. Okay, and here let's create a navigation stack. And inside our navigation stack, let's create a V stack. Okay, and uh, to be clear, uh, this one, there are many ways to implement it, but we will opt for a toolbar. So let's go and write dot toolbar content i don't like this one okay like this way and let's create a toolbar item a toolbar item yes of top bar leading top bar leading yes and here we will create a text with the name of facebook uh, we will give it a font with dot system with size of 32 and the weight of dot bolt and, and for, for the foreground style we need this color so let's create here a private var uh, let's call it facebook blue is a color a color with an rgb for the red let me check it is 26 by 255 the second one is 103 and for the blue it's 178 by 255 Okay, and uh, here we will give it a foreground style of Facebook blue. Okay, beautiful. For this, uh, for this one, it is clear it will be an A stack and it will be a toolbar in the trailing. So let's create it. Uh, we will create another toolbar item with a placement of trailing top bar trailing and let's create an a stack with a spacing of 24 and let's create our first one it will be image with a system name uh, it will be this one so let me check what's the name it's okay plus dot circle dot fill Okay, we will make it resizable and it will be also scale to fill and we will give it a frame with a width and a height of 24 for both beautiful okay now we will create another one it will be an image with a system name of magnifying glass Okay, beautiful it will be resizable scale to fill with a frame of width and height of 24 and uh, we will give it a font of dot system a size of 18 and weight of dot bolt okay just to give it this look okay we will create another one so let's copy this one it will be this one won't be you see this system name is because it's uh, those are being taken from sf symbol but this one we will take it from our asset folder so it will be called a messenger 
Okay, beautiful. Uh, okay, I think uh, that's uh, all we need to do. Here now we need to go to this one and uh, to implement it. So let's create inside of this stack an A stack. And we will have an image. For now we will give it a profile pic. It's an image in our uh, asset folder here. Okay, I will make it resizable. Uh, it will be scale to fill and I will give it a fray with width and height of 40 beautiful and we will give it also a clip shape of circle okay perfect the second thing we need this one what's on your mind so we will make a text we will call it what's uh, on your mind I think it's this way yes okay we will give it a, uh, let me check what does it have okay it needs to be inside the nest stack the only reason is as you can see it will take all the space so I need to make it inside an A and give it a spacer. You will understand me just in a few minutes. I will give it a spacer. Okay, and to the this one to the mother A stack, uh, I will give it a dot padding of a dot horizontal. Okay, and. Uh, now we think it's good. Now I need to give it dot overlay. And as you can see, uh, this form is a capsule, so we will need to give it capsule. And I will give it dot stroke, uh, not this one, dot stroke with a line width of one, and I will give it a color of. Uh, system gray 4 dot system gray 4 okay beautiful uh, and before it I will give it dot padding of dot horizontal okay beautiful and for the vertical we will give it also a padding of vertical but uh, for uh, with a value of 10 okay. perfect I think uh, and uh, if we go here you see that uh, there is a little padding from the picture of a profile but more padding uh, from this uh, one so we will handle this we will give a dot padding of dot trailing of 15 and dot padding of dot leading of just five okay this way it's closer to the profile picture and it give it lets more space from here and then we will make the image and when I say the image I'm talking about this one okay I just need to check what's the name okay it's a difficult one to remember to be honest photo dot on dot rectangle dot angle okay beautiful uh, I will make it resizable dot scale to fill okay beautiful and uh, what's we call it a frame with width and height of 20 for both and Finally, a foreground style of dot green. Okay, it's already starting to look beautiful. Uh, one of the final things we need to do also, of course, is this one. If I click on it, I go to profile, so it needs to be a navigation link. 
So here we will create, we will go to profile, we create a new group, call it a view, and inside this group we will create a new file, a Swift UI view, and we will call it profile view. Okay, now if I go to back to my feed view, this one it needs to be inside the navigation link, so I will create a navigation link with the destination and the label. For the destination it will be profile view and for the label it will be this one. Okay, now hopefully if I click on it, uh, I go to profile. Okay, beautiful. For this one, it needs to be clickable because as you can see, if I click on it, I enter this one, the create post view, but it needs to be a button. So, of course, there are other ways to implement it. You can add a gesture recognizer or something like that, but I prefer to make it a button. It's simpler, it's easier, and it does the job the way it needs to be done. So. We will take this and place it inside the button. Okay, and I will give it dot foreground style of dot black. Okay, perfect, I think. Now it's clickable. This one now takes me to profile. I think it's perfect. Maybe one of the last thing we need to do is to add a spacer. So this one goes to the top. Okay, now with the space, beautiful. Maybe the only thing, there are more differences here, so I will make it, uh, I will make dot padding of dot vertical of 30. Okay, I think it looks beautiful, uh, very similar to the one we implemented. So let's go now to our main tab view. Let's call here feed view. I think it's beautiful. I think uh, a very good application. Just uh, of course we need to organize uh, the code. So I don't like to have this A stack here. So I will extract sub view. And we will make refactor, rename, we will call it header view. Okay, beautiful. And now uh, in feed we will create a new file. It will be, let's call it a Swift UI view, it doesn't matter a lot to be honest. We will call it header view. Okay, and here we will go and cut this code and paste it uh, and paste it here. And hopefully everything will be working fine. Okay, beautiful. Perfect, I think. If we go to main tab view, we will see that everything is working fine. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next one, we will be implementing this one, the story view. We will also implement our user model and we will implement the feed view model. So if you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. Please like the video. It helps a lot. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye bye.